If the Amalfi Coast and the Hamptons had a baby, what you would get is Sausalito, a beautiful European vibe of a city with a cool, ritzy feel to it. Post Gold Rush, you had two types of people that were coming over into this area to help develop it out. The rich and sailors. And that's what gave it its European-like feeling. And still to this day, this is regarded as one of the most European feeling cities in the United States. Today, we are really lucky because we are going to be toured around this town by its own dynamic and forward-thinking mayor, Janelle Kelman. And I'm looking forward to this, but also hear that she's very serious about her coffee and pastries, so we don't want to be late. Let's go meet up with her. Okay, Janelle, this is a very serious spread, uh, but... I already started. All right, yeah. so yeah. who decides that they want to become mayor <laughs> of Sausalito. How did this all come to be? So we have five city council members, one of whom serves as the mayor. I've lived here for 21 years. Amazing. Um, but yeah, it is amazing. And it feels like this small town right next to a very big town. And on the weekends, it can get even bigger. On the weekends, you can see 30,000, 40,000 people coming in town to enjoy our restaurants, our food, our views, um, and our people. Um, mm -hmm. We have beautiful parks, we have beautiful waterfront yes. access. Um, and then right behind us, we have the Golden Gate National Recreation Area. Area. I realized that we didn't have a, a resiliency plan, a climate sustainability plan. And I was trained as an environmental lawyer. And I thought, okay, I think I can really serve here and do some good. But I threw my hat in the ring and got elected, served as the vice mayor uh, in my first year, and now I'm the mayor. And we're very lucky for it. So unless you've been living under a rock, the topic of this generation and of the times we're in is climate change, climate awareness. So I want to ask you, Janelle, with respect to rising sea levels, particularly here, considering that we live on the water, uh, what is happening on this front and what are you doing about it as our leader? Great. My favorite question, right? Um, there are a lot of good reasons to run for public office. Uh, Two, which were near and dear to my heart, were innovation and economic diversity and planning for long-term climate resilience. And of course, with us being a waterfront community, the topic of rising seas, which leads to flooding, which leads to all sorts of public health and safety issues is top of mind. And so what my nonprofit is designed to do is to empower local decision makers like myself in smaller communities who might not have the resources, might not have a sustainability manager or resilience director on staff, to, to be able to learn from one another. And so we're building a community of practice to share these learnings. Uh, we're also working on developing what are called regional advisory boards, mm -hmm. kind of based on almost like the startup mentality that I'm gonna have a board. And when I have an issue, I'm gonna go to my office hours and I'm gonna try to figure out, can you help me solve my issues from an interdisciplinary perspective? Uh, and, but then also take these learnings and share them with others. So not only is she the best dressed mayor in America, <laughs> she's also one of the most creative and forward thinking leaders, young leaders that the country is fortunate to have. And we're obviously even more lucky because she's our mayor here. So thank you, Janelle. Thank that. you. I want to thank our mayor, Janelle Kelman, again for joining me today and basically playing tour guide for all of us and the audience in this beautiful town of Sausalito. I think everybody now gets a really good idea as to why this is not only regarded as one of the most European-like cities in all of America, but also why it's so forward-thinking and trying to really make its mark as one of the leading waterfront cities in America. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next episode of Financing the American Dream.